song that's playing for you is Mopstick. So, with that being said, you clean shit up. Or you done been cleaned up. Someone could have cleaned you up in a situation, Taurus. They done moved you or pushed you out of a certain type of space because they invested in some sort of new emotion that got you them in a certain type of mind about the relationship or whatever idea or perspective y'all want shared. You can't link with somebody the same way you used to link. Y'all, that, that common ground y'all once had, y'all don't have no more. If it's that type of situation or you the one who mopping some shit up. You feel me? You, you might have realized, damn, the crib done got a little dirty. It was now you, we, the crib be in your mind and the shit you view and the shit you accept or the shit you express. You feel me? You started, you started getting a little sloppy with what type of energies you, you shook hands with. Who could walk in and out of your door and who being a person or who being an idea that you would participate in. Who being an expression. You feel me? And you know what you, yeah, look, you done did you a little survey of what the fuck you had going on. Might have did something a little too quick there, Taurus. A little too quick there, Taurus. And you, that, if that's for you, or that's someone outside of you, someone outside of you done got swept up. You had to clean it up. It's like you had to clean up someone else's mess. Could be like that. Could be like that. Or someone cleaning up your mess. Yeah, somebody feel a little separate from you, though. Someone don't feel connected to you, Taurus. Or you don't feel connected to some. It's like you may feel a disconnect. You feel me? It's like where you, whether it's in yourself regarding this, you where you're, you had a whole lot of passion for that. You, you were driven to want to do that once upon a time. This brought joy to your world. Now it's a little cold. Now it's like now that it's winter in whatever situation you're dealing with because everything goes through the, the seasons on a larger scale and on a smaller scale. So your relationship might be in winter season right now. This is what shit, this is what shit really, you, you really see what the fuck is going on. And you could be in a position where now that yeah, shit ain't going on the way you thought it was going on. This winter hit kind of hard. Mm hmm. Something over. Whether you sweeping some shit up or you done been swept up. And you know what side of the fence you on. It might have been for some goofy shit. Whether it's you invested in some goofy shit. Someone outside of you thought they could come to you and bring a new sense of goofy shit to you. You took that, gave it right back to them. And then you ain't revisiting that. Someone hurt though. I don't know who it is, Taurus. Can't tell you that much. Someone hurt because of this transformation. And it's almost like it's in a casket, whatever it is. I hope it ain't a person. I hope it ain't a person. But whatever it is, yeah, with that on the bottom, yeah, whatever it is, the truth will set you free first to make you miserable. Whether you the miserable one because of the what you became aware of to be the truth or you could be in a situation and you might be aware of a truth and that changed something for you regarding the space you shared with somebody, regarding how you invest in or how you expressing yourself or what you're doing on your day. You feel me? It's like some shifted a relationship with you. And that's because someone was lying to themselves or you were lying to yourself. If it's a solo battle tourist, you're going through some motions because some shit is changing in your life and you might, you might not have been prepared for this change. If it ain't somebody outside of you who could be in a position and they thought they were secure with you. They thought they ain't really had to worry about what the fuck Taurus was going, had going on or Taurus's perspective regarding the relationship. It's like someone didn't even concern you regarding the situation up until now that you in the space and something's coming down the way it's coming down. Now you in a position where you could be, yeah, someone don't know how to feel about that. you lost in your emotions. Or someone outside of you lost in their emotions about the situation they shared with you. They don't know what to do because it's like they were in, they were always in one place about it. Whether that was you, you were always fixed in a certain type of perspective about a situation, person, relationship, friendship, or how you carried your own energies in your day to day. Until that shit got hit with a brick. And that move, it's like you got moved out of that mind and you got moved in a way that may be very uncomfortable to you. Gorilla glue. Yeah, that shit stuck though. 
It's a lesson that gonna stick though, whatever that means for you. It's a knowing if it's somebody outside of you who don't know what's going on, they don't know how to feel about the space they shared with you because you done changed in the relationship, Taurus. You don't you don't give the feedback you used to give. And you that's letting someone outside of you know you got you got some new standards. You got some you going by a new set of rules internally, or you just desire a certain oomph out of life that then they don't they it could be in a position where you ain't trying to leave your partner, but you're trying to train your partner how to love you. Or you're trying to train your partner how to communicate or express themselves towards you. They don't know what to do with the with the you you're bringing, though. Put me in beef on the ass time to eat. Can't be, I'm about to not mad at H.O.G. I don't know what's in the middle of the show. I got four, five, seven, four, two. I'm trying to give me just what a cheese. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hey, there you go. It's like you got a new you. If it's you versus someone outside of you, then you and you in the position where you are the partner that don't know what to do about your partner's emo this new sense of emotional balance. It's like your partner in a place you don't know how to get to. And you lost. And it's almost like it caught you off guard. Because this is you were you were always in a certain type of understanding about this, whatever that is. Morgan Tracy. Hey, look, now you could be going through some sort of conflict because of what's going on. If or you bet you had to go through a conflict. You had to get in an argument or disagreement with him, with her, with them, or doing that or expressing that. That had to bring you friction for you to realize what was going on. Now that you're in a position where you're not in the same space you were in, you may be naked and you don't know how to feel about what you're witnessing or about what you want to participate. But at the same time, you know, if it's a situation where you're doing something, you know, this is what you got to do. You might not know how to do it. You don't even know why you feel the way you feel about that, but you know you gotta do that. If it's a situation outside of you, then you're witnessing something that is drawing you, but you could be in a position where you might have slipped in that space already. Could be like that. And that, it took you slipping for you to realize what made you slip. And now that you lost that, because that shit could have been a, a key aspect or a key home you would go inside internally, a key point of reference where you would express yourself from. And now that that is gone, you don't know how to feel. One more evening. You could be very sensitive to emotions being brought to you or just your own emotions right now. Cause you in a new space. It's like you traveled and you were damn you damn near went to outer space with no suit on, basically. Now if you caught that, you caught that. Trademark USA, yeah, but they put a stamp on it though. That was too much. We ain't gonna talk about that. Mm-hmm. Someone someone could be that was the first card in your last one. Someone could be in a position where they're trying to get you out of that though. It's someone could be trying to anchor you to a situation or a mind or feeling that they want you to be in. If it's you versus you, you, because you, you, like I said, you don't know how to, you don't know how to grasp your feeling about a situation or a relationship. It's like you can't put your tongue on it. And because of that, it kind of just, it's like you're shooting in the dark. But at the same time, you, you got a target. Mm -hmm. That shit fell off sideways. Now, will it hit or will it miss? That, that all varies from Taurus to Taurus. But you know that's it, though. You know that's what you got to do. That's where you got to go. That's how you got to express yourself. That's what you got to feel about. Don't know why or the why is because you done been through some sort of... You've been through some shit. Let me tell you, back in your day, 
Taurus, whatever you was getting down in, whatever you did that brought you some sort of conflict, conflict brought you pain, and that's all because you thought you was a wizard and you thought you could manipulate or control the way your life went, or someone outside of you might have thought there was a wizard with you, manipulated you into accepting the vision they had, and they tricked you up into some bullshit. After you've been through all that, and now it's like you're naked, you got nothing left when it comes to how to feel about that, or just an emotional perspective on self, or something in your world. Now you, it's like now you have, you're, you're free enough to see. And now that you see, yeah, and how you do, you, you don't know what to do. You might not know how to do. This is still the same song. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just, you had to withdraw from some shit. Or that's someone outside you trying to press your ass. Be careful. You might have somebody. Uh, I think we in a couple of retrograde seasons too. You might have somebody trying to slide up on you in some way, shape, or form to trick you into not doing something, or trick you into not further investing in a, a certain type of emotion. Now that you've done been through a certain point in this relationship or a friendship, and it's like you, it, it's over. It whatever it was, hey, you can't do that no more. You've been moved, and you can't move back. Whatever that means for you. and But that also puts you in a, a space to experience a new sense of awareness or a new sense of emotional awareness. And you might, because you're, you're now aware of your own feelings, you might be aware that you have a lot of feelings and you don't know how to process them. But at the same time, you know this is where you got to be in regards to expressing or digging deep in on self because you know you've been expressing yourself. In a certain, when it comes to emotions, you may not be in that type of space to express yourself the way you want to express yourself. And that's what brought you here to begin with. So now it's like you could be on a position to start your self-reflection healing track and it could work for you and put you in the space where you need it because the star is in sideways. That shit fell out clear sideways. So you could be in a position where you could heal something or you could be in a position where you can't heal from something. That all depends on your actions. And how you invest or what you invest in. Whether that is the ideas you get from yourself about something. Whether you let yourself, you let your mind trick you up out of what you know you need to do. Or where you know you need to be or what you know you can invest in. You let your mind trick you up out of this opportunity. You want this opportunity of a lifetime. Whether that's an or you could, you could filter your mind and invest in that and gain a whole lot of healing from that and have a, the bounce back of a lifetime. You, you, whatever one, whichever one it is, and you put your foot in and shoot that bitch. You can't stop thinking about something though. But again, it's like you've been, you've been through some shit. Don't put your foot. <laughs> 